Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel today. We're going to do a uh, oil change on this uh, CB125E. So this is actually the daughter's bike now and she's had it a little over 12 months. So, so far she's been pretty happy with it. It's been trouble free. And I think when she purchased this bike a year back, or 15 months ago, something that effect, I think it cost her about $2,600 brand new. So, you know, it was a pretty good buy in those days and it's a little bit dearer to buy now. Now I think she's clocked up uh, 1500 k's so it's still running like I said factory oil when she got the bike so I decided they might do a bit of an oil change now while we're at it something here for you this uh, is my bike or one of them it's a 2020 and first plated or registered in I think it was March this year 21 so it's a 2020 Royal Enfield B500 well that's the uh, standard version with the bench sheet it's got roughly about oh, I don't know, 21 2150 on the clock in kilometers now i've got a couple of new bikes arriving in the next couple of weeks and i was thinking uh i wouldn't mind the um latest model of the royal enfield called a tribute black and they come in at around about nine seven i think maybe nine eight somewhere around that price but what i'm thinking uh, or what happened, I've contacted the dealer and he said for this bike here he'd give me six and a half thousand dollars trade which I think is a bit sloppy in the trade department so if any of you guys are out there and you want to buy one of these this one like I said it's done 2100 kilometers 2150 it's uh, three months old it comes with saddlebags on it too so it roughly worth around nine thousand six hundred dollars so anyone out there in Australia wants one of these can come good with 7k 7,000 will take it away and I think with that sort of money you're saving yourself roughly 2,000 on the normal price of the bike and this one's got front number plate saddle bags frames and really well looked after and I think you'd be very happy with the bike so time for the oil change now so I've got a nice container out there just cleaned it to make sure it's nice and clean for what I drop into it so I can check what oil's like underneath here there's your plug so that's a 12 mil and when you undo it you'll just pull your um, ratchet handle towards the exhaust so that's a fairly simple one I'd already been in contact with a couple of dealers and the cheapest I could get an oil change or service on this bike was roughly a hundred dollars and it went up to $150 depending on who were doing it which I'd class really as a total waste of money and a week or so back I bought a container of oil for some of the other bikes actually a few containers of oil in case I do several oil changes now this Gulf Western oil in 10W40 semi-synthetic I bought that for $10 and it was normally dropped from I think $40 down to $10 so that's why I bought a few of them I figure I can do this oil change on this bike and it really hasn't got a filter so uh, I think they've got a spinner on the other side but they're a little bit more involved to get into so if I swing this oil out drop it put the new stuff in there I can do this oil change for roughly a dollar fifty so that's a pretty good save and you have to say to yourself why would you want to um, pay uh, any high price at like a hundred dollars or 150 at a service place and probably not get any better job when you can do it yourself in my case today a dollar fifty or a normal price would probably be around about six dollars so let's get into it and drop the oil see how it looks okay i've released that one there now so i'll just bring the the drain tray there and do the 12 mil nut heading to your left or towards the muffler and we'll dump this oil I'd expect to be pretty bad because it's been, like I said, first oil change for this bike. Got plenty of thread on it, that's for sure. Okay, it's dropped into that one. So the oil's warm at the moment, so it's not hot, but it's warm, so it's coming out all right. And I might go around and do the uh, oil drain plug, help the oil drain out a bit quicker. One thing about this CB125E is on the dipstick, it's got a nice big stalk on it there to give you an idea what oil's in the bike. So you shouldn't run this bike without oil. Earlier on I mentioned that these bikes haven't got a, what you call an actual screw-on oil filter. 
They've got an internal one, I think, on the right-hand side called a spinner, which collects the rubbish and you have to pull the case off to get at that. There's my factory sump plug on eBay Australia. I just typed in Posty Bikes magnetic sump plug, and that's it there. And I'm going to put this on this bike for her. And if there's any residue or metal filings floating around this motor over the next oil change, well, it'll pick it up. And they're pretty powerful too, so if you look here, the oil also run on the other bikes, like rear earth magnets at the bottom, give them a bit more pulling power. The idea works too, so this would be a good safeguard, around $15, $20 an hour, and that would save you, uh, you know, like a lot of rubbish circulating in the motor, which probably is a good idea from the very start, and I think it's a good move, so that'll go on to something there now. So if you get here like this, there you are, screws right up and you just torque it down. I usually just torque these by hand, a little bit tighter than there you are at the fully, uh, fully run in position there. So you just get the uh, 12 mil and the ratchet and give it a little bit more and that's good enough. But there you see it sits beds there nicely, like so. I'll see if I can find the magnets and put those on. Yeah, so here's a rear earth magnet. Like, um, I don't know, there'd be about half a dozen there, I'd say. So when you put it under here, you can just bring them up. That's how much power they got once you got the magnets on. You watch. I'll see if it'll pull out of my hand from... And you just line it up there like that. But naturally, before you do this, make sure you do your sump plug up tight. But that's a rough idea, and it sits on there like that. And it's got more drawing power, and I found it works really good in other bikes, and it'll work good on this one too. This is the final stage. What I like to do here, pour this oil into this milk container. And just see exactly how much of oil was pulled out of the bike. And then just have a look in the uh, oil tray there, and just see if there's any rubbish in there. A little bit hard to do this one-handed, but... Just have to bear with me. Now I can get it flowing a bit better. So it appears really no rubbish in this motor for 1500 kilometres on a Honda, which compared to some bikes, you know, you'd see quite a lot of junk in there, but this one's nice and clean. Then I'll mark the container with a permanent marker and then I'll have a rough idea how much oil's got to go back in the bike. And just mark it like so. And when you go back, see I've got the level. What I'll do, I'll put in exactly what was pulled out of it now because that's what uh, the dealer had in there and then I can check it from the dipstick after that. I've tipped out of this container so far 500 mils of oil in. So I'll just put this here in the other container. So that's 500 out of the way. We'll put the balance in here. Just check around here at the side. It is almost 350, so 850 mils. So with 850 mils in the sump there, according to the books, it takes 800. So it hasn't used any oil in the 1500 kilometers, I don't think. So it had 850 in it. So I think I might Although it says 800, I might just put the 850 back into it. Okay guys, got the first container, 500 mils of oil. And like I said, it's going to use this Gulf Western 10W40, semi-synthetic. So we'll head over here. Got the old snow cone container there. So that should be able to hold the oil in place with a bit of trouble. So there goes 500 mils. Now I'll just pick up another 350, so I think I'll put the 850 like I pulled out of it. But it's good enough for the dealer, it's good enough for me. Okay, there's 350. Apart from a slight spill, but not much you can do about that when you're doing all this one-handed. Whip this back in the slot. So that part's completed now, just let that drain out a bit. Put the dipstick back in. So 
that completes the oil change on this Honda CB125E. So total cost, I think it worked out roughly a dollar fifty. There's no filter on it, but what I did fit was the uh, optional magnetic sump plug for it to pick up any uh, metal particles floating around the oil over the next period of time she's riding it. So I think that'll be a good little bonus under there. And uh, I think overall, when you think of it, the dealer quotes were between 100 and 150 to do this first service. There's not much else you can do apart from uh, check air clean if you want to and some other, but half the time I don't think most of the deals check anything anyway, so when you look at it for $1.50 in total to do this, or probably if you weren't getting your oil this cheap, maybe 5 or $6 maximum, I think today's been pretty good, and she'll be able to get on this bike now and ride it for a couple of thousand k's before we get back to get there and drop it again and just see how that magnetic plug works. So once again, thanks for tuning in, take a look, catch up with you later.